kind of where I want to move on to um, Sessignon because of late, I think he's done himself proud. I think he's really risen to the challenge of obviously slotting in while Reggie is injured. I'm assuming he's injured with his thigh still. Um, but I thought with his confidence, uh, Sam, I feel like that's the thing that works for him. If he's confident, he plays well. But I noticed a few times against Burnley that, yes, he'd take on his man once and then he'd come back and his initial instinct is to play it back. I, I feel like once he gets over that confidence kind of step, it'd be even better. That, that's been the whole issue with Ryan Sessegnon, really, and what us fans have have been um, criticising about for quite a while now, that he doesn't take his man on, you know. But at the same time as well, like you said, he does get stuck in. And we've even seen him um, been able to assist his players and even um, throw out a very good cross, you know, something that we don't really get from the right wing back. So... I think definitely that the one thing that Sessignon has got to work on, which is still ongoing, is taking his man on. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that he was playing against a fighting side like Burnley, you know, very known to be a physical sort of team. Maybe that might have um, played on his confidence a bit, but he is step, like you said as well, with um, Regulon's injury, if that's what it is. He has definitely stepped up. And yes, he's definitely also earned himself uh, more time in a Spurs shirt. And um, he just he's, he's just got to, like, like you said, really take his man on. And then we'd see a bigger improvement of Ryan Sessegnon. Hmm. Can I um, just, as he, comes, sorry, as he gets older, he'll get better. Gareth yeah, how old is he actually? Gareth Bell, 21, is he 21, 22? Yeah, that's about as that. Gareth yeah. Bell, exactly the same. Gareth Bale never took anybody on. He, he was a left-sided back, left back when he came. They moved him. Harry Redknapp moved him up to left wing. All of a sudden, totally different player. And that's what Ryan is. But Ryan's problem is he gets too many little injuries. Mm. And that's we exactly need to right. find that. Sorry? That's exactly right. Right. We need to find out why he picks up these little injuries. Because it seems to be a hamstring, a, a calf or whatever, and it's three, four, five weeks. So you're never getting a run with him. But right, we've got it now. We've got it. Maybe he knows it's summer and he don't want to be training in the summer. He wants to have a holiday so he's not getting injured. Um, but, <laughs> you know, but he is he's a talented player. I think he's better than Reggion. I think they might sell Reggion in the summer. And uh, I think he will be our left wing back next year, for a definite. Yeah, because I was going to ask as well, like, I'll come to you, Luke, because obviously we're talking about obviously wanting to grade the team. We don't want to get players in now that are obviously lower than the person we've already got, because obviously we look at that right-hand side and that's pretty much what we've got. So with the kind of terms of Session, would you be looking at Session to be your main guy next year or would you look to upgrade that position and have Session as your kind of your backup? No, for me, I think, I think Graham's right. I think that, um, first of all, Ryan Sessegnon has been plagued with injuries ever since we signed him. We signed him when he was injured. And then the, one of Pochettino's, like, things was that the player the player had to kind of, like, work to build into the first team. You know, you saw it with Lucas Moura. He didn't automatically come straight into the first team. Sort of Ryan Sessegnon after his injury. And he just plagued and plagued with injuries. Um, and I think that, you know, this is his longest run in a Spurs shirt ever, right? And I think he's coming on slowly and slowly. But I think that the left wing back's not somewhere I would even consider in the summer, to be completely honest. I think uh, like left-sided centre-back, um, you know, Ben Davis had a hell of a season, but I think we need a, a serious left-footed centre-back uh, to come in and shore up along with Dyer and Romero. And obviously, you know, in reality... Your right wing back as well is somewhere that you could definitely look at, um, at least shipping out one of Doherty or, or Emerson. But um, yeah, with Ryan Sessignon, I, I, I 100% think that that he could be a, a star for Spurs. Um, you know, when when Graham talked about um, Gareth Bale just then, I will always remember uh, the newspaper article when it's like uh, Spurs need to part with Gareth Bale to sign Stuart Downing or something like that. It was like some crazy yeah. article. And... Harry Redknapp, he was going to sell him, wasn't he? Yeah. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Madness. 
What, what I don't really want to happen is um because we like all the we're listen every fan base is divided when it comes to certain players etc but what I don't want to happen is if we do somehow let's say get top four that I want us to then all of a sudden just become mellow and mm. sort of accept that this starting 11 is therefore good enough and we can have them for another season bearing in mind that you know you got to look at the context of what this season was for us and if i've listen if i've got to be honest you know luke you were saying uh, we need another center back i personally think we need actually two new center backs and i know it's an unpopular opinion but there is just a lot of adjustments that needs to be made and you know if we're going to have this manager called antonio conte then let's back him as a club and back his name of what he's done for football because, you know, a lot of these players have let us down majority this season. And now it only just so happens at the end of it, we're, we've got, we might have that slim chance of getting top four. Okay, a bit more than slim, but you know what I mean. Hmm. That is interesting you say that because it's happened in the past. Like you say, we get to that step and then we're like, oh, it's all right. These players did it for us anyway. We, we don't need to upgrade.